have made it to Ibiza and checked into our amazing hotel. So we got the ferry this morning. Hence why the state of me, I literally rolled out of bed and I've still got my hair mask in from last night. Just got this comfy set on to travel in the Amazon one. But we've checked into the Oku Hotel and it's insane. It's so nice. The interiors in this room are amazing and we got recommended this. And I'm really glad we went with the recommendation. We've got a swim up pool, which is really nice as well. So I'll do a little room tour before it gets messy. So obviously this is the big mirror here and you can kind of see like the bathroom behind me. But you walk in the doorway here. So you've got the wardrobe, which I'm gonna empty all of my suitcase in. I always like to unpack as soon as I kind of get here. And then you come through, this is like the makeup, beauty area, sink, and then nice big shower. Through here is the bathroom, the little toilet. I'm just obsessed with these interiors. Very, very me, I'm loving it. This is the sink come through and then we've got like a little bar area here and we've got a really cool little speaker the Marshall one our fridge is all stocked up got a little coffee machine I've just quickly put bags down and then a nice big I think this is a king size bed yeah it is we went with a king I think then you come through ignore my suitcase just here on the floor and then this is the beauty of it we get our own pool it's like a nice kind of a swim up private pool out here the sun hasn't come yet they said it comes in the afternoon chris is just chilling got a little seat and nook here and then you come out and it's just it's such chilled a vibe of a little swim up pool so we're going to be chilling here a lot we are I'm starving though aren't we bags. huh i'm buying one of these bean bags yeah they're so nice you look very chilled you'll definitely nap on here a lot <laughs> we're gonna go get something to eat aren't we I was up so early this morning, but I'm really excited to be here for the next few days. I've never actually come to Ibiza before, although my parents live here in Spain, we never come. So we got the boat over from Denia to Ibiza. It was so easy, just a two hour ride this morning. We got the early one, but I'm looking a bit shabby. I'm gonna freshen up and I'm sure we're gonna hit the pool and just take a nice few days to chill. But I'm gonna basically, like I said, refresh. I feel like my skin is just a bit like, ugh, from getting up this morning at like 7 a.m. And I have all of my Elemis products with me. I still have my discount code, which is live. You guys know how much I love and use Elemis. So it was a no-brainer, I have to bring it all away with me. So the fact that obviously I've come away, I have brought some minis. They do these cute minis, but these aren't actually included in the discount code. It is normal sizes, and I'll leave all the T's and C's below of what the code applies for. But you guys know normally at home, I obviously have the normal sizes or even the super ones because I just get through a lot of Elemis stuff. I always use it. But because I'm traveling, I thought I'd bring my little minis away with me. It's just easier to pack. I always use my cleansing balm. This is the little mini one, but like I said, I always normally use the normal size ones. And I love the rose one. So this is the original Pro Cleansing Balm. I'm gonna go in with that first, just to kind of remove anything on my skin. I'm gonna go in, I always like to double cleanse, with my Pro Collagen Energizing Green Cleanser. Sorry, I didn't know if it was focusing them going to use that and then I'll show you what I'm using after. I've also brought my nighttime skincare. These are actually the normal size ones. This is like my go-to night cream. If you watch my vlogs, you guys know I always use this. First things first, I'm just going to get a little bit of this. I mean, I really don't need it a lot at all. And then rub this into your skin. I've been getting these really annoying, like underneath the skin spots on my chin recently. And they're like hard lumps, like they're not budging. They've been there for like a good two weeks and they are really bugging me here on my chin if you can see. And when I'm in the sun I always have to be careful with my pigmentation of my skin as well. You guys know if you follow me on here for a while I do go on about it. I'm going to go in now with the cleanser and like I said this is the pro collagen one and I have the big one at home. So it's definitely worth getting like the normal size should I say of this. Just put a little bit in my hands. Or sometimes I put this on my Foro cleanser. I've also actually brought that away with me, but I'm just going to go over my hands today. And I'll lather this all up with my skin. My skin now just feels so clean and fresh. Like I can feel there is nothing on my skin anymore. So I'm going to go in now with the Dynamic Resurfacing Pads. This again is the little mini pack. I have the big one at home. 
so the code applies on the other one there's a few different sizes and i always use these pads they're just really good i use them not every day i'd say like every few days but like i said because i've got these underneath the skin spots here i'm trying to just kind of help resurface like exfoliate the skin and hopefully it will help to get rid of these spots so go and finish with my marine cream this is a good moisturizer it's actually an anti-wrinkle day cream just to moisturize my skin i love the smell of this as well i love elemis products it honestly just feels like you're at a spa at home or wherever you are in ibiza doing your skincare and just taking a few minutes like this after we've been traveling all morning is just so nice and just making sure my skin is fully prepped for a day in the sun i always like to bring it down my neck as well because don't mind it getting dry this is mainly all my skincare done and then i'm just going to put an spf on my face but i have brought two other new products with me and i used this back when we were in the villa in spain just as a little pamper after a beach day and it's one of elemis's latest products and it is honestly so good like i said because i've been getting these spots and also with my pigmentation i really try and exfoliate a lot with my skin and this is the dynamic resurfacing peel and reset so you have phase one which is this one and you leave it on your skin for like 20 minutes 15 minutes and it's like a really light tingling sensation you wash it off and then you go in with phase two which is a serum which kind of just hydrates it again so i've been taking this in my beach bag and everywhere with me this is the spray so this is the superfood tea mist priming hydrator mist this is really good if you're doing it before your makeup but like i said i've been taking this in my beach bags just as like a refresh and a little tip leave this in your fridge um, before you go out and then i love to just spritz this over it smells lovely and it just instantly makes your face just feel awake, which is exactly what I need right now. I'm going to get myself together now. I might just put on like a little bit of a tinted moisturiser. I've got this one here with me, the Estee Lauder Day Wear. I've been mentioning this a lot on my Instagram. I love this. It's a really nice tinted moisturiser with SPF in. Just to go to lunch and enjoy sitting out in the sun today. So we're just having lunch at the hotel and we went for the burrata with the spanish ham love that and then this is the oku salad which looks very crazy i don't know what this stuff is inside it it's got like nuts mango and stuff so we're gonna dig into this and then i think what did we order poke ball and edamame we you <laughs> classic yeah. girlfriend don't want anything and then i'm gonna steal it yeah poke salad <laughs> and edamame she looks really good i was like put off by it because sometimes i feel like it can just have like loads of mayo which i hate but this one looks so good what is it 10 out of 10 no 10 out of 10 is a lot for you is this 10 out of 10 in general or 10 out of 10 in no you're no, yeah pokey bowl league pokey bowl league i'd give it like a nine and a half well that's that's a lot for there's you there's no such thing as a 10 it's amazing right? yeah so we're back from lunch we had a lovely little salad pokey bowl I'm literally still no makeup. I hate wearing makeup in the day when it's sunny. I'm just going to put some sunscreen on, put this little bikini on, which I've been wearing a lot from H&M. I also got it in white. It's just a really nice bathing suit to kind of like sunbathe in. It's really cheap as well, so I will link it down below and also in the white. So I'm just going to wear this, have a nice little afternoon around the pool, have a dip. The sun's actually started to come out on the pool area now, if you can see, but it's still shaded on the sun loungers. It's kind of creeping. If I open this up, you'll be able to see. Oh, cannot open the door. There we go. Hey, start to get a little suntan out here. up at the pool and we just had a quick turn around and got ready I'm wearing it this dress from zara you guys seem to love this when i did the little reel of it and we're kind of matching chris is in a linen shirt and his new are they from uh, mango babe yeah them shorts 
the like chocolate colored shorts. I did want to wear like this two piece set, but I did not have time to iron it. I've literally got ready in like 20 minutes. And then for my makeup, I've just done like a kind of like gold eye, coral lips and shoved my hair up in a bun. My back's a little bit sunburnt, even though I'm wearing this like back um, strappy top of, oh, strappy dress of the top. But if that makes sense. Looking a little bit pink, but hopefully that will turn to brown in the morning. Little coral lip. I literally got ready so fast. I feel like I need to quickly blend my chin in though to the rest of my neck. And then I've got these heels on from Zara. I have had these for like a good two or three years and they have lasted me. They're just like such a good heeled sandal. So I've just put this on and then I'm going to wear my little coach bag. Put on some little hoops. Basically got ready in the nick of time. I'll quickly do you a little bit of a close-up of my makeup. I literally got ready so fast. I don't like wearing a lot of makeup on holiday. As you can see, you can kind of like see my skin through it. Like a nice little gold eye. And then I'm wearing Miranda May. Charlotte Tilbury on my lips for a nice little coral pop because I'm going for like an all white look and then I've just like slicked my hair back because I did not have time to curl it. I'm just out with Nora. We're having a little <laughs> double dinner date yeah. and we've got loads of sushi going on. We've ordered literally basically the whole menu. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we've gone for it. We're going for it. <laughs> Love the poke bowls so much yesterday. We've ordered them on room service and just having it sat out at the pool whilst I've just been doing some work and emails and just chilling out for the afternoon. But these are so good, these are the salmon ones, and I have mine without wasabi. I'm so hungry, it's like three o'clock now. I feel like all you're probably seeing is me eating and drinking on this vlog. Here's a good egg. I know my Zara trousers for me. I'm going for an all white look tonight, I think. I mean I did wear all white last night. I don't know if to go all white or I have that pink. Our outfit, what do you think? But he wants me to match with him. Yeah. Quick turnaround again. We were having a nice kind of like afternoon having lunch. Just got myself together and ready. Again, I'm going for an all white look tonight. Another little Zara number, I will show you in the mirror. But I'm just finishing doing my hair, like the last touch ups, with my GHD Rise brush. You guys know I love this, I always style my hair with it. And I think by the time this video goes up, the discount code might have expired. I will put it on the screen anyway in case. And obviously link it down below. I also used this, which is the um, Pick Me Up Spray, the GHG Root One. So this is like a nice little root lift and also a heat protecting. So as you can see, I just kind of like tease it through the brush, wrapped it around, tease it, pulled it up, hold it, and then release. And it just gives you a really nice, like flicked out bouncy look rather than like tight curls which I find just works a lot better with my hair being a little shorter and also with having my little bangs as well. I kind of like wrap them around the brush loosely. So I am ready for the night. I'll quickly show you my outfit and then we're heading out because we're running a little bit late. We've got a dinner reservation. Tonight's outfit, like I said, is another white number. This wrap top is from Zara. I love it. It's this linen material. It comes around here and then these trousers that I've had from Zara for a while. I did feature them in a recent Haul, again, a nice linen. You just have to go all white and linen when you're on holiday. So I love this together. Again, got the old Zara heels on. My little coach bag to match. I feel like I look a little bit pink. Oh God, there we go with my bag. A little bit pink. We've caught the sun, haven't we? And then Chris's outfit of the night. He's got this shirt on. Look how pink I am. <laughs> That's from Zara, isn't it, babe? The shirt. And where are your shorts from? <laughs> What's that pose? Where are my shorts from? <laughs> Oh, H&M. You got them recently H &M from H&M and your Birkenstocks were comfy. Kind of matching. Hopefully we can get a nice picky tonight at this beach club we're going, but we're running late, so we're going to head on. I love the olive tapenade and the like it's like a tomato salsa we've just gone for the croquetas although I hate mayonnaise so Chris has to sit and wipe it all off for me bless him 
I hate it, don't I? This is literally his duty every time we go it, out. So yeah. So I've gone for the pasta. And what did you go for? Cannelloni. Cannelloni. It's fish with like lobster tartare or something, right? Looks good. Looks great. Are you going to be alright with that? Yeah, ready? It smells like, um, smell it. Are you sure you want to drink that? What is it? Um, it's a shot of liquor. I'll have a sip. <laughs> Tastes like TCP. Look how much she drank. <laughs> Woken up to this gorgeous view this morning, and the sun is just hitting on the pool. It feels so serene and calm, and just like the best way to wake up. So, I've just quickly put on um, I don't know if you can see yeah, my gym wear, and we're going to do a quick workout before we go to breakfast, which is just over here. Workout is done, had a shower, got this swimsuit on. This is from D. Rocco's collection. I'll leave her handle because she has an amazing swimwear brand. The linen shirt is from Nadia Anya's collection with Marble Swim, so we'll also link that. It's such a nice, just big kind of like overshirt. Got my Gucci hat on, just quickly put my hair back. My Sonny's a Jimmy Fairley jewelry. Necklace is Majore, and then I've got my rings on. This is from Anissa's collection, which I'll also link. And then I thought I'd just go with this with some shorts, head down to breakfast, and then to the pool for a little bit. So we've come to this lunch place. It's not far from my hotel. It's recommended by the hotel. What is it called again? Hala. Hala Kasuanetta. It is so nice. It's like all in the rocks of the mountain. And then the sea is here. I'll show you a better clip afterwards. But I'm actually getting into fish on this holiday. And I don't normally like fish. Like, I would never have had it before. And we had it in back in Denia. So we've gone with the big dorada fish. But it's actually with like moisty sauce and like a side salad. But it looks amazing. And the setting is just beautiful. So you do the first test basically you have to like pinch it with your hand it's like it's like you just pull it out that is like proper white fish but it's cooked in like salt and flour and then you dip it in the hoisin sauce so Right, I'm gonna do a taste test. This is so weird. I've never ever had fish like this where you just like pull it off. It's quite a pot. Oh my god, that is good. I like the lime on it. Mm. Honestly, if you come into Ibiza, I highly recommend this place. It is so pretty here. feeling than that post shower beach day ready for a nap like fresh out the shower face mask is on this is my favorite the garnier one it is so hydrating and my skin needs it right now 
put on this robe that the um, hotel have given us but actually I found these similar on Amazon so we'll link it down below extra extra large just what I want a nice linen really lightweight dressing gown and I need a nap I'm gonna go for a nice long nap before dinner and I'll pick up with you guys okay, a quick check back in I have got myself ready I'm wearing this gorgeous Zara two piece and I've been waiting to wear this all holiday it's my favorite it's this little crop I went for a small and it's really weird fitting and it's all like crisscross here at the back with these trousers again I went with this small definitely kind of upsizing these however they are a little long I was wearing my pink Zara heels and I've just shot an outfit in it but they were a little bit uncomfortable so I've just put these because they're a little bit comfier these are them I've kind of just put them out down here Okay, Chris is ringing me, the taxi's there, but these were the heels. I will try and link them down below for you guys, but I'm running late, so I'll have to go. Is this red in real life? They look like bloodshot. Anyway, we're to IB for Old Town. <laughs> Basically, Chris is so hungry. He is, like, so hungry. He's about to kill me. I don't know. I won't try out. Chuck of red wine or something. My eyes are really bloodshot. As if I've, like, drank loads and I haven't. You need sleep. Maybe that's it. Yeah, I didn't nap today. I needed my nap. It's like that means. You didn't take your nap today. We're just in the um, I've been the old time. We've come to this tapas place because it was recommended to us, but not gonna lie, it's been really bad service and the food hasn't been like proper tapas at all. So compared to lunch, which was insane, it was so good, this has definitely not been as good as it. Well, Chris is about to kill. We're waiting basically, still on two meals. And what time is it? It is 11 o'clock at night. I'm never used to eat. I'm never half used nine. to eat this late. What time we got here? Yeah. We got here at half nine. We've had Tussis Brothers and Croquettes. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to have a good night. We've got a bottle of red, which isn't a good bottle, but we're still drinking it. And then we'll hopefully go on a little tour around the little back streets. It looked really cute when we came in. Um, I think this is our state coming now. Shut, 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 shut. He's just had the first one. Go on then. Hey. This is literally Chris with Bailey at home. This poor dog has been sat there posing. It's cracking me up. What a good dog. He's still going. He's like, he's like looking at his mum like, please, no, not anymore. Looking good. What do we think of these guys? <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing a bib. <laughs> I feel like we both got red wine lips. Particularly we used to always in Rome go to this gelato place. Should we get one from here or should we have a Rome around? Let's get it from here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it looks Mm. I'm so happy right now. I went with the caramel and the black cherry. I'm waiting for Chris to get here to see what he went for. What did you go for, babe? Uh, what did I get? Dolce de leche and cheesecake. Oh, you went cheesecake instead. Yum! Gelato time! <laughs> The best part about staying at a hotel is the breakfast. It's our last morning here, so we've gone all out. I've got these little donuts, croissants, fruit, pancakes, like an English, and then of course, oat milk latte and champagne for breakfast.
few hours at the hotel having some moe. We got a bottle of moe, didn't we, with our... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We've been all fancy and bougie with our bottle. Um, so yeah, we're just having the last few hours around the hotel and then we're gonna hopefully go to a beach club later. Also, a little thing, I've been reading this book, Chris's mom recommended it to me, it's that I Let You Go. I've read her book before, I think it was the, um, is it Stranger in the House? Basically another like thriller and I loved it and Chris's mom, this is like her favourite one, so I'm getting into this. So highly recommend if you're looking for a good book to read. So I'm gonna switch off for a few hours, get a little tipsy, read my book and just live life. Right, take three, Chloe doing a shot on holiday. No, but let's this time we let's have just, tequila. Let's just clarify for the vlog. I never, ever do shots, do I? Yeah, I never, yeah. Like, even if we're on a night out. All right. Salt. They did. It's fine. So, wait, do you do the salt first or the lime? I remember my first tequila. How do you do it? Lick your inside of. Lick it. Lick it. <laughs> lick it. Lick it. Lick it. Lick it. Right. Can you do this? Because I can't do it with one hand. Oh, it's like talking about. Right. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what I did. I, I one, one handed it. Right, put some in my. So tequila, then salt and lime, right? Oh my god, are you serious? Salt, then tequila, then lime. Okay? Yeah. Lick your hand. Do another one. Hey, on the floor. When the tequila hits, 